It seems simple. You need to inspect your parts. But first, you need to print out the drawing, and then balloon the drawing, and then enter the dimensions and tolerances into Excel, and then calculate the upper and lower spec limits, and then you can finally start. Creating inspection documentation can be a tedious, underappreciated task. SOLIDWORKS Inspection is a tool to help streamline the creation of this documentation. But what does that mean? How do we get there? That depends. With SOLIDWORKS Inspection, there's Standard versus Professional, Standalone versus the Add-in. Wait, isn't it Standalone versus the Network? Well, yes, that too. So what's the difference between these options? Let's take a look. We'll start at the top with a simple equation. The add-in plus the standalone equals SOLIDWORKS inspection. Notice standard or professional is nowhere to be seen yet. That's because whether you have standard or professional, the add-in and the standalone are included. Okay, so what's the difference? Let's start in the add-in. Remember that long manual process we talked about? The add-in leverages the work we have already completed in our SOLIDWORKS drawings to more effectively get that done. Simply start with selecting your customizable project settings and entering in information like part number or revision, which can even be pulled directly from custom properties. Then what type of characteristics you want it to balloon and tolerance information. SOLIDWORKS inspection then does the tedious work. You have a balloon drawing and a characteristic tree with tolerances and spec limits for each. Other important criteria can be added, which can be defined for any of the characteristics, like inspection method, or even if it's a key characteristic. And when you are ready, these can be exported out to a balloon PDF and all of the information you require to a standard or customizable Excel template, ready to take your measurements. Okay, but what about for non-SOLIDWORKS drawing files? The standalone interface helps complete the same task but in a slightly different way, working completely outside of SOLIDWORKS. Several file types, including PDF and DWG, can be inserted, and information can be extracted. Title block information, as well as dimensions, GD&T, and notes, to name a few, can be pulled from the drawing. And just like in the add-in, a characteristic tree is created, and information can be exported to an inspection template. With the inspection standalone, you can easily create inspection documentation even without a SOLIDWORKS drawing. So with the inspection standalone and add-in, we have that more streamlined approach to getting our inspection documentation with 2D drawings so we can start measuring our parts. That has all been standard. So what about that professional functionality? Within the standalone, you can start entering measurements right in the inspection project, manually or with a USB measuring device. CMM data can also be imported. Color-coded measurements can even help you visually see where the trouble areas may be right in the project. So to sum up, SOLIDWORKS inspection comes with two interfaces, the standalone and the add-in, whether you get standard or professional. And as for those last options? Yeah, it can do that. These are just some of the features of SOLIDWORKS Inspection. To learn more and to see if SOLIDWORKS Inspection is right for you, reach out to us at Computer Aided Technology.